So here's my mobile shift, and I'm going to show you the upgrades I've made to it. First upgrade I did was put bottle attachment on the front fender, and then another one on the back. This is Bell. It's a Shawin. This is just a kind of a rubber strap with Velcro straps. Seats like that pretty nicely. I got my locks on there. I got two rear lights for nighttime. I plan on maybe putting another one right here. They'll shine down the back a little bit more better. I got three, well, two flashlights down there. I just replaced my surface one with a Cygo light, uh, Streak 450. And this is a Lumina Night Rider Lumina 400. This is my Surface 255 Lumen uh, AA powered flashlight that I plan to either use it for this and put it in the front, maybe some hot glue ability like that. That way I have three lights all nice and good. And then I changed out the thumb shifter with a twist shifter. So when I'm in fixed mode, I actually can still ride and hold the handlebars without an issue of the thumb shifter being straight up and down like this when it's in uh, fixed mode. And then I've got a mirror right here. So you guys can see me. And uh, I may get another one. This is from Zell. Zell Soul, whatever the company's name is. And then I upgraded the brake pads down here to a 3-in-1 kind of brake pad. It has anti-squeak um, normal brake pad and um, able to brake in wear conditions. Um, so yeah. And then the tires are all liquid um, sealed kind of sealant tires. They are all BMX style round tires and it uh, flies nice and well um, I also have another light I may get later in the future for my helmet so when I get my right kick I'm gonna get two more lights for the rear two for the right kick and that way I'll have a total of what six in the back and four in the front <laughs> um, because I also I will also have a helmet rear light on also <laughs> um, and I may get another mirror on the other side that just sticks in this little area there goes my flashlight. Good thing those these things are all nice and shock resistant and whatnot. <laughs> um, and I may probably replace the Lumina lights and go full on Cygo lights if I don't find a decent um, long lasting lithium ion light. Or I'll just buy like three more of these and just go 250 lumens because this lasts about five to three hours if you get alkaline it lasts five hours if you get um, nickel metal hybrid you get about three hours before it starts running out of juice ability and starts dimming on you but yeah um, the reason why I'm talking about the cyber light I uh, may go with the series of that is because Cyberlight on the other end has the um, walk mode ability. The, the Lumina series also does too from Night Rider, but this only lasts 14 hours. And that's because they are using probably like 50 lumens or uh, 100 lumens or 80 lumens for their walk mode. This, the Cyberlight, is only using about 10 or 5 lumens. So this 14 hours continuous 
this 100 hours of continuous on walk mode. Yeah. So that's insane. Or I get 6 hours on low for this. Or about almost 10 hours for this. So yeah. Knight Rider hasn't really shown me that it's um, very well equipped to uh, be a bike light. Because another thing I also find uh, find very annoying about their series, even though despite the fact this is only 400, they have the same exact models for all their lights, even for the 900 series. And just the 400 here, when it's on 400 lumens, this metal piece gets extremely hot. I cannot believe people using this for the um, the 900 series. And actually holding it because you're holding it you know burn your finger off instantly I mean you can literally cook probably an egg on this because of how hot this sucker gets now I know oh the people are gonna say oh well <laughs> um, you're supposed to ride it so the wing captures on the side and whatnot I get that but make better ventilation system ability for that <laughs> Anyways, Surface has a great, had a great um, series uh, for their Surface True series that uh, was the 350, 550, and 750 version. They had little uh, air vents on the side of their lights, so when you rode, the air would go through that little hole and out the side and blow out through the metal housing. That is efficient cooling. Their thing not efficient because oh it's going to blow on the sides well that's not efficient you want full on directional um, forward directional um, coolant the more you get in the face of the coolant the better same thing with the cyber light they have a full on good coolant system with theirs because they have the entire front is um has a bunch of slashes on the side of their light, as you can see here, that allows air coolant to go in the metal stone-like uh, material right here, and that cools down the light. And even for their bigger series, it's not that bad. And even running this on max uh, lumens, it doesn't really get that hot. So, yeah. But anyways, I'll figure something out with that, but for now those are my upgrades and my layer upgrades and features is going to obviously change those, maybe add new lights for the helmet and one for the back and then two for the right kick I will begin later in the summer. So this is my epic micro little car transportation vehicle. It's a bike, it's a trike, it's a fun tricycle, and it's a motor vehicle. Not. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be cool in some time to ride with my ride kick. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. So here's my mobile shift, and I'm going to show you the upgrades I've made to it. First upgrade I did was put bottle attachment on the front fender and then another one on the back. This is a bell. It's a Shawin. This is just a kind of a rubber strap with Velcro straps. Seats like that pretty nicely. I got my locks on there. I got two rear lights for nighttime plan on maybe putting another one right here that will shine down the back a little bit more better. I got three, well two flashlights down there. I just replaced 